So one thing we found that can make your life a lot easier when you're laying out your feet is that kinetic fay rash is just about three fingers wide. So we can use this as a measuring device against the shingles to lay out the bottom point, or the top point, I should say, of each of the feet. Additionally, this makes a great straight edge. So if you have any questions about how straight your shingles are, you can always use a long piece of rail as your straight edge across the entire roof. It's lightweight, it's easy to maneuver, it's probably the simplest thing you'll find for making a long straight line. So in this case, I'm just going to show you laying out one of these feet using a small piece of rack on our first stud, which is right about here. I'll just hold the K-rack up against the bottom of the shingle line. That gives me the right spacing. I know my stud is right about here. And I'll just mark off the holes. In this case, I'm using a red marker. Shows up really well against the brown shingles. And that's about it. It's probably not easy to see on the camera, but I can see my two dots right there. So we've marked out our two points. Again, they might not be so obvious on the camera, but they are fairly easy to see here in real life. And now comes the critical step, is drilling our two lead holes. We're using a 7 16 inch bit on any cordless drill will do just fine. So here we go. And we nailed it. Let's do number two. Perfect drill. We're just going to put a little bit of the sealant into the two holes we just drilled. I just want to warn you, this stuff gets on everything and it will not come out. So when you're doing this step, make sure you got a lot of newspapers or rags and also wear some, uh, some clothes that you're willing to dispose of, like in our case, our, <laughs> our corporate clothing. So off we go. And that's about it for that step. So now it's time to fasten the foot to the wall using lag bolts like this. So the lag bolts come very simply. We're going to assemble them together before we fasten them. Take a lag, take a lock washer, put it on, a flat washer, put it on, and there's your resulting kit, and off we go. Just fit it by hand to start. And now comes the tedious process of tightening it down. In this case, we're just using a straight ratchet wrench. Lots of solutions here. One of the best is to use an impact driver. Just make sure that you buy a good one. Once you start getting down nice and tight, you don't have to be too accurate here. All you want to do is start pinching the lock washer. That's good. And there you go. On to number two. And that's it. There's our first foot in. You notice it's a little bit crooked, but that's fine. You got a lot of play when you're mounting. The real key part here, again, is making sure that those legs are centered directly into that 2x4. That's the biggest thing you have to look for. All right, let's move on. So we're almost done with this particular footing. All we're going to do now is put a bead of the sealant on the back of the K-Flash. And again, this is just extra protection. That's all done. Here comes the easy part. Slide the top of the flashing under the shingles, just like that, nothing to it. Slide it down over the bolt. Our mounting foot's on and it's not coming off. The last step is to mount the L foot onto the mounting foot. Very simple, place it over the bolt. Flat washer, lock washer, and the nut. Now when you're first installing your feet, don't tighten the nut all the way. Just tighten it down with your fingers and that's it. Just like that. And that's it, that's foot number one. 
Now we mentioned that the studs on this particular roof are two feet apart, so we're going to mount three of these feet at the two foot intervals, and we'll show you when we're done. So our three feet are in to make our first row. Took us about 10 minutes, but we've done it before. Just going to let you know, this is the slowest, most time consuming, and probably the most frustrating part of the entire install, is putting in these feet. Take your time. 